Hey guys, this is this fan Rashid here from uh, RashidReviews.com and uh, this video is going to be slightly different it's going to be more of a health video for someone uh, that emailed me recently about uh, getting his money out of JVZoo he said that JVZoo is uh, holding on to his money and uh, won't release his money and uh, I didn't understand what he was saying at first but then I remembered I had a similar problem about a year ago and uh, basically JVZoo, before it was automatically, everything was automatically done they'll release the money and it goes straight into your PayPal account but uh, after some difficulty with PayPal, they included their own system called JVZoo Pay. Okay, and with that, a lot of people didn't realize, but you have to fill out some uh, forms and you have to uh, fill out some uh, more information about yourself. Now, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Uh, but if, uh, if you want some more training, some more help, click the links down below. There's my website there. I've got some free stuff which I'm giving away and also there's some training in there which may help you, especially if you're doing affiliate marketing. And also, don't forget to join my Facebook group. Well, again, the link will be down below this video. But here we are, we're at this page, and uh, what you can do, see, I've got about sixty-five dollars there. Every time it gets to fifty dollars, always take it out. But what you want to do is come here and see where it says distributions. Just click on that distributions, and that'll tell you the amount of money you can take out. And yeah, this part here, this is what happens, and this is the main part here. See this box there? On my section, it was red for a long time. I didn't understand why, but it should be green like this. Okay, now these are the requirements that need before JVZoo can send the actual money into your account. I mean, first is obviously you need over fifty dollars. Yeah, that's fairly straightforward. So on this side it has to be over fifty dollars. Yeah, not on this side. On this side it has to be over fifty dollars. Second, you have to select a JVZoo pay distribution method. Now that I didn't understand at first, but that is straightforward as well. You got to set up the actual JVZoo pay distribution method, which is I use Payment Rails for that. And the way you're going to do that, you just come over here with this account, click on account, and just give it a second, and then go down to the bottom here. See this point here, it says JVZU configuration. That's what you want. You want to say payment rails here. There's another method as well called Pioneer, but you just do a payment rails. Just click on over here where it says edit. And there, you see, it says it's got payment rails there. You can use Pioneer there. On mine, it was none for a long time. Okay, it was like that for a long time. Uh, which you don't want that's why I won't get any of the money you want it on payment rails and there's instructions on how to do that you know on JVZoo so you want to check that out yourself I don't want to uh, do a video on how to do that because the actual difficult part is yet to come and uh, let's just click on here oh by the way to get to this page as I just done there just click on JVZoo pay if you don't know how to do that okay let's click on distribution as well so that's the first two checked off then uh, the third one automatically gets checked off if you've chosen payment rails, it'll automatically get done. And this was the hard one, having to fill out this form, it was a required tax form. Now, I'm from the UK, and I never knew how to do this because I pay uh, separate taxes, we have different forms and different laws here. So apparently, using JVZoo page, you're going to have to fill out the actual tax form. It's a different, I'll show you which tax form it is, I think it's called W8 Ben. Uh, yeah, this is the one here, there you go, it's W8 Ben. This is the form which you'll have to fill out, yeah. If you're not from the US, okay, this is what you do. If you're from the US, you have separate forms. And I'm gonna fill I fill this out really. I just want to show you what to do and how to fill it out. Okay. The first section is fairly straightforward, just enter your name there. By the way, everything here is fake, okay? My name's not John Rambo and I'm not from China. Okay? So basically you just put your name there, the country you're from, your uh, address, again your town or state, you can put New York or Yorkshire as a, you know or Lancashire you know I'm from the, the UK so they well, that's what I put uh, country there and this section you can leave it blank okay as you can see this is mailing address if different from above so most people mailing address will be the same as their actual address so you leave that blank and this is where you're gonna get stuck okay you're not from the US so you're not gonna have a US identification number okay so you leave that blank don't bother with that I got in touch with JVZoo there were no help Okay, basically what JVZoo said was something along the lines of that they're not tax experts and uh, we have to get in touch with uh, our tax um, advisors and whatnot and have to fill this form in. So basically JVZoo will no help, okay. But I got help from someone else and basically what you need to do, if you're from the UK, you have something called a national insurance number. Okay, so you just put that there. By the way, this number's fake, okay, of mine. But you just put that national insurance number in there. Now, if you're from uh, yeah, India, Canada or anything, you'll have a different form of uh, identifying number. So whatever your form, whatever identification number you have, just place it in there. Hopefully that'll work. And then you leave this section blank. 
and just enter your date of birth there. And this is the difficult part here. Yeah, just give me a second while I switch my phone up. Yeah, I need to have a clue on what to do here, but basically just copy this here, what I did here. Okay, I certified the beneficial owner is the residence of whatever country you're from, you place into there. If you're from Canada, right, Canada there. India, India there. If you're from England, like I am, put England there, okay? That's what you do there. And here it says, special rate condition applicable beneficial owner claiming article or paragraph 7. Okay, put 7 in there. The way I've done it there. You, I don't know if you need Roman numerals, but I was told to do it like that, but I put 7 in brackets there and it worked. And then where it says, identified on 9 above to the claim of, put 0 there. Okay, that's a, uh, that's a 0, that's not an O, that's a 0, 0%. Zero and here where it says, withholding specified type of income put commissions there okay simple as that commissions and then the next line which is explain the additional conditions in the article paragraph beneficial or meets the standard for the rate of withholding write this down you might have to pause this video you want to write that down it says beneficial has permanent establishment only in china and all work performed in china as per article 5 okay now obviously do not write China if you're not from China. That's supposed to be your country name in there. Okay, so if you're from Canada, put Canada. If you're from England, put England into there. Okay. You know, pause the video, watch that again, and we'll basically copy that. That's what I wrote down. And another part where I got stuck was here where it says signature. You see, I couldn't sign it, but every time I clicked on it, my actual JVZoo ID number came up. Okay, so that's what you want in there, your JVZoo ID number and then date it don't forget to date it okay and that should work that's what worked for me that's what i did okay and then click submit there'll be a submit button a green button there somewhere below click submit and it all should work everything should go green like this that's what happened everything went green like that okay so basically this entire box has to be green in order for you to get paid like you see i'll have 54 dollars uh going into my account i think uh yeah this this monday i'll have 54 dollars going into my account Okay, so I hope this video helps. That's how uh, you fill out the actual form, the W A B E N form, and that's how JVZoo will get paid straight into your PayPal account. Okay, don't forget the links down below to my website and my Facebook group. Check it out, and I'll speak to you next time.